In this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna create some really nice designer titles. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So creating these type of titles are my favorite to create because it requires a lot of attention to detail to the overall scene rather than just the titles. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the necessary components that go into creating overall beautiful designer titles. Also, thank you to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from. And they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system so you can quickly find the best songs for your video. Also, with purchasing a soundtrack for your next project, each song allows you to choose from the full track, loop sets, and even shorter variations of the song to make sure every song fits the duration of your project. So for your next project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com. So the first step in our tutorial is to create a really good background. All right, so here we are in our blank composition and all we have in here is a background and I will link this background in the video description. But the concept of this tutorial is to create an overall nice title sequence and starts with the background, whether it's video or photos. Uh, this is just a very nice bokeh background. The link will be in the description for this one specifically. Uh, but that's something to think about when you're putting together your background. And now I want to create just a little bit of design for this. So what we're going to do here is grab our pen tool here at the top and we're going to just add a point right here at the corner and we'll go all the way across to our other side of our composition and click another point to go across just like this. Click on the word fill and we're going to set it to none. Click OK. Click on the word stroke and set it to solid color. Click OK. And from here we can op open up shape layer 1 and come here to add and we're going to add a repeater. And we can open repeater 1. We can increase the number of copies to go across our composition like this and then we can decrease the offset to fill up the other side of our composition like this. And what I like to do here is to open up transform repeater one. And if we decrease the scale, we get this little nice overlay like this. So let's add a keyframe for scale at 80%. And let's move forward to the end of our composition, which I'm going to say is five seconds. And we can set this back up to 100% if we want. So we get something interesting like this. And then what I suggest doing is toggle switch the modes and make the blend mode for this layer soft light. And what we can do with our background is hit S ring keyboard for scale and we can add a keyframe for it and we'll move forward to the end of our composition. And we can zoom out of our background very subtly. So now we have just this animation here and it looks really nice for our background. So now that we have our background, let's go ahead and work on the titles. All right, so next up, we got to create our titles. So let's grab the textile tool here at the top and we'll type out our title. So I went ahead and typed out two titles as separate layers and it's always good to have contrast between two titles when they are separate. So I used a typeface called Beat Baz New Oo and as a bold font. And then I also used Gotham Book as a smaller font here. And Gotham's a great typeface because there's tons of fonts inside of this one typeface. So really good idea to create contrast when you make one title bigger than the other and you use two opposing fonts. It's a good way to create some nice contrast, of course. There's plenty of schools of thought for this, but this is one way to create good contrast between your titles. So the one thing I want to take note here is that this blends in with the background and it's kind of annoying. So what we can do is go to layer new adjustment layer. We can bring this adjustment layer right underneath our titles. Go to effect color correction and we're going to add tint. So what we'll do here is we'll grab map to white and we'll set this to a nice blue color here. Click OK and we can grab our black color. Maybe we'll do like a very dark red here. So overall this makes it a lot easier to read. To make sure your titles are aligned correctly, go to Window Align and we can center these up in the center of our composition. We'll move this one up by a little bit and do the same thing for our subtitle. Boom. And that looks fine. So from here what I like to do is say grab the rectangle tool, click on the word stroke and set that to none. Click on the word fill and set it to solid color. Click OK. And we'll set the color to black. And I just want to draw out a rectangle underneath our main title like this. And it's just a cool little design element that you can think about. Working with shapes with titles is always cool. And this way we're going to create some alignment here with our, you know, our shape here that covers up our main title. And of course you can select both these layers and go to the line tab and make sure that these are centered up perfectly. And they are. And now I want to animate this since now we have the bulk of our title in here. So we'll go to our main title. We can open this up, go to animate and check on enable per character 3D. And then go to animate again and we're going to add rotation. And from here we'll set the Y rotation to 90 degrees and this will animate each of the letters as the Y axis. We'll come here to range selector, we'll add a keyframe for start. We'll move forward by a second or so and we'll set it to 
and now we have this animation here and then what I'll just do I'm going to add right here go to property and add opacity and set the opacity down to 0% so we won't be able to see those letters until they flip in just like that beautiful and make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on your keyboard so now we just got to animate our title so what we'll do here is grab our subtitle go to about a second hit P on our keyboard for position add a keyframe for it we'll move that keyframe forward in time and we'll set the Y position above our solid like this then we'll go to layer pre-compose and we can call it subtitle I'll call it sub click OK then we'll grab the rectangle tool and we'll just draw out a mask over our original rectangle like this so now our title will just pop in there like that now let's go ahead and just animate the shape layer very simply so right at the beginning so go to the beginning of your timeline grab your shape layer open it up go in the contents go into the rectangle one go into the rectangle path one we'll add a keyframe for size and position we'll break this chain for size right here and then we'll move both these keyframes forward by a second set the y size down to zero and we want to bring up the Y position. You can see that there's a line right here for reference. And maybe we'll just move these keyframes forward in time just by a touch. Make sure to make all these keyframes easy. Ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And now we have something like this. And it looks pretty cool. So what we can do here is grab all of our title assets, which are the solid and the two titles. Pre-compose them and call it all title. And then what we'll do is hit Astron keyboard for scale. Go to the beginning of our timeline, add a keyframe for scale, go to the end of our composition, which will be 5 seconds, and we can scale this forward by a little bit, and this will create just a little bit of parallax. And this will create a good sense of parallax within our composition. Now, of course, creating titles and After Effects can be a lot of fun, but also very time consuming. All these previews you're seeing right now are from Video Hive. These are pre made After Effects templates, meaning that you can download a template, drag and drop your new title and logo in, and render out your project just within a few minutes. These are already ready to go and already made for you. And the best part about it, there are literally thousands of these templates already available. So you go ahead and check our links in the video description so you can find the right title template for your project. Or if you're just looking for inspiration, it's also a good place to look for inspiration as well. Well. So now our scene is set up for success with our title and our background. Now let's polish the piece and work on some overlay elements. So this is looking pretty good, but we're just missing a few pieces here. And something we can add is like a light leak like this. I'll link this in the video description. It's absolutely free. Um, and what we can do with this is we can bring this into our composition right underneath our, you know, adjustment layer here. And we can set the blend mode to screen. And then we can hit T on keyboard for opacity and lower the opacity if we need to. And this will create a nice sense of like overlay to this and a little bit more dimension. And being able to put your hands on assets that have just natural movement to it can take your motion graphics to the next level really quick. And this adds just a lot more depth and detail in our composition and it looks really good. And I want to add a little bit more sense of realism to this. So we're going to do two more things and we're done. So first thing I want to do is go up to layer new null object. So what we do here is parent everything to the null object by grabbing the pick whip, boom. And then what we'll do is hit P on keyboard for position. We'll all click the stopwatch and we're gonna type in wiggle, open parenthesis, one comma 40 close parenthesis. And you might need to scale up say the adjustment layer to get rid of any block in there. And if there's anything that just needs to be scaled up, be sure to do that. So what we just did is create some very natural movement in this and it really added some extra, you know, more detail to our composition and still easy to read because we don't have so much wiggles per second. And keep in mind that the first number is how many wiggles per second and the second number is how intense each of these wiggles are. So keeping it 1 to 40 is pretty not so over the top. If you want it even slower, do 0 0.5, 20, you know, just really keep that in mind. And one last thing I want to do is create a new adjustment layer. And then I always do is go to effect noise and grain and add noise and set the noise amount to about 5% uncheck use color noise and this will just help blend everything together. And here is our overall composition with our newly underrated effect called noise, which really blends motion graphics together well with say video because video has noise in it. So just adding a little bit of noise helps blend that in there. And this is a little bit over the top. So you could use like 3% noise. So of course, be sure to turn on motion blur if you want to and going back into those original compositions if you need to do so. So those are the steps of creating beautiful titles inside of After Effects. And I hope you guys were able to take away a handful of these techniques right here in this tutorial. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every week right here on the channel. Also, you can hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creative.